Hey everyone, Dossif here with 3339 Bumblebee representing Israel here in the Johnson division. Today we have Naran, Ariel, and Roni to talk about their robot. Roni will be the operator for us, but they will be talking about their amazing robot. Really robust, but really working, efficient robot. And we will be talking about their robot here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Ariel, talk to us about your mechanics and your design process that you had. Really robust system, but it seems like it's been working out for y'all. Yeah, so uh, ever since the start of the week, we came up with the requirement that we want to pick cones from any rotation from the ground. So we have this intake that comes down with pneumatic pistons. And actually, those, they have two, these two flappers that uh, direct the cone into uh, it, the conveyor. And then we have here the conveyor that conveys into our claw. Now, uh, our claw here is also by, uh, powered by pneumatic pistons and this whole arm is a telescopic arm on an elevator. So what makes this uh, robot uh, special? That the arm is powered by a one-way chain over here. So when we push it, it's, it's goes, it goes straight and then we roll it back, it can actually bend into itself. And it's of course connected to the last uh, stage of the telescopic, so it pushes all the way and then we come back. The elevator of course gave us the radialic movement for the telescopic arm. And of course, when uh, the cone comes here, so when we intake a cone, we grab it. And then of course when you pull up, you can see it's not in the right direction. So we have a Johnson motor here that spins the grabber of the cone and then we can put it easily on the grid. Well, really impressive. Now we're going to move into you, Neuron. Talk to us about your software that you have in this robot. I, you told me there's a lot of autonomous programs in here. Ta yes. Tell me about that. All right, so first of all, Ariel, will talk to you about the intake system. So we have an automatic intake system that we'll demonstrate in a bit. So what happens is you have this limelight over here. The, the operator chooses whether he wants a cone or a cube to pick up, and the, le the LEDs flash accordingly. The moment the driver wants to intake the cone and convey it to the claw, what happens is he, all he does is press a button, the limelight turns on, and appropriately moves and diverts and collects the cone in the orientation he needs to. That means we analyze the cone's position and its current orientation relative to the limelight, and then by that, we collect the cone. All right, so now we're gonna demonstrate how our automatic intake works. So Roni over here will use the automatic intake. Okay, so I'll explain briefly what happened here. The driver, in this case, our operator, Roni, what he did is he just pressed a button and from that moment on, the limelight automatically aligned itself, aligned the robot to the intake. And from then on out, the robot automatically aligns to the cone in its current orientation. The cone gets picked up. The arm and elevator prepare themselves to catch the cone. The cone goes in. From that moment on, the cone is collected and the LEDs flash green to indicate to the driver and operator that they can go in place, whether it's from the, whether they just collect it from the feeder or in this case, from the floor. Can you also demonstrate with us the presets that you guys have on your arm? All right, so that is to the mid height. Of course, throughout all this process, the operator can whenever he wishes to move our, to move the, to rotate the cone so the cone can be placed correctly. Okay, so we'll do it one last time for the high. 
Okay, so now we'll play to the highest possible height. And release. So that is our intake and placement process. Okay, so another change that we had since the Israeli DCMP is that we added these two wheels over here, powered by a Falcon. So it uh, allows, us, allows us to climb on the charge station with much more of the robot outside of it. And then we can easily triple climb with full-sized robots. So are these uh, wheels at any like at a, um, at a different height than yeah, a Yeah, it's, it's a bit higher than the the swerve wheels, but uh, so but but if we climb on the substation, then the robot is a bit tilted, but the the wheels still touch it. And how effective has it been for y'all? It's really good. We've been triple climbing, I think, like every match until now. Really impressive. All right, so. So regarding software, it's relatively simple, but what happens is you have these two motors over here. What they do is they just follow the swerve drive. Uh, you give it a sort of factor, you want it to follow the swerve drive at the correct driving. And what happens is the robot turns 90 degrees, and then they can go safely, they can climb safely on the ramp. So, so this side is what's going on to the charging station right here? Yes. Well, 3039, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through your robot. Doing really well on the Johnson division and really excited to see what you guys do here from, from the rest of the event. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.